her pupils aren't dilating. There's no movement in her limbs. The doctors say not even the muscles aren't responding. Nothing. Nothing. Kaylan don't know these people. She was only trying to defend her friend. And this is what she got. And then you go and you brag. No, Chrissy went to the station. She didn't go in. She sent her sister to tell the police that she wasn't involved. But numerous accounts from other people said she's the one who stumped Kaylan. Now there's an argument ensuing. They're saying that they're going to go to the station and call names and all that. They're turning on each other now because they're... I spoke to Kima. And Kima, I asked Kima, Kima, what happened? I would, I, I know you were fighting with my child, but from, a, I just need to know what happened so I can even relate to the, to the police or to the hospital. Kima said, yes, she and Kaylin was fighting, but she's not the one who hit her. So I said, all right then, go to the police. She said, she's not going. I said, Kima, I think the best thing for you to do is to go to the police. I told Chrissy's sister also, tell your sister to come into the police station. They refuse. Kima said everybody's trying to pin it on her because she and Kaylan was fighting. But she's not the one who hit her. That's what she told me. I don't care who hit her. Somebody hit her. I don't care. She was hit. The doctor said she was hit a lot. Her arm, her arm, her arm is broken. She has ear in her brain and it's pressing down on her eyes. The doctor says her skull is cracked. She has a spinal injury. She's unconscious. She's on life support. My baby is on life support. And these women are at home and hiding from police. Kaylan did nothing to them. You saw my child at a party and you chose to ask her why she's looking at you. You're at a party. Everybody's going to look at you. And you beat her. For what? Now these girls are hiding. I'm going to post their pictures because I got them. And I'm going to post where they live. Because they have to be held accountable for this. They all have to be held accountable for their actions. So they can hide all they want. But them, them affy go to prison for this. You know, it's really sad how we treat each other. A child is hit and falls to the ground. And everybody's... Everybody stands and watch. Men, men who are supposed to protect women stand and watch as my child is lying, lying helpless on the ground. She was there for nearly an hour, I heard, on the ground, not moving. Nisha went over her and said she's not dead because she sees her lips moving. Everybody's saying, she dead already, she dead, she dead, she dead, and I run up and down. She's begging somebody, please take her up, help me, help me. Nobody. Men stood and watch. Mothers stood and watch. People stood and watch as this lifeless child slid on the ground. People, I wanted to share the video. And I want to share the pictures. Let's make these girls famous because they want to be movie stars. So let us make them famous. You can't be that cruel. If I am fighting someone and they fall to I am going to stop hitting them. Because that's an indication that something is seriously wrong. No. And she's saying, you want to see how me beat the girl in her head with the bottle. And then she's walking around with the bottle as a trophy. But your land, I can tell you this. This is one mama when I stop. This is one mother when I stop. 
So the best thing we can tell you now, find the police station. Because right now, I, I just write this out there. Me na stop till everyone now know get what is deserving. Can't be that heartless as a mother. Can't be that cruel as a mother. No, everybody video in a party. And a child is on the ground for over for nearly an hour. And I know one video can surface. Cause everybody afraid. But put, look at this. What if it was your child? What if it, what if it was your sister, your mother, your niece, your grand picnic? What if it was yours? Would you like to have your child laying on the ground? When she got to the hospital, she had seizures. She went into shock. Her heart stopped six whole minutes. Today is Wednesday. Kaylan still has not woken up, still not responding, still not moving. My heart full. I cry a million tears. I call to God. I beg him for justice. I beg him for help. I beg for mercy. Right now, I'm asking for mercy upon Uno because I'm not going to feel the wrath. You all, six of you, jump on my picnic. Six of you. Can you imagine that? Six. Because I heard Kaylan was giving Kima a beating. And when they saw that, they jumped in and they all went down on her. Baclar in her head. Baclar in her head. Come on, man. Come on, man. How cruel can anybody be? How cruel can anybody be? I would never choose to use a Hennessy bottle to lick anybody. Because common sense would tell you that that is killing someone. And then after she's on the ground, you proceeded to kick her. The doctor said she got a lot of kicks. She got a lot of licks to the head. She got a lot. She got a lick to the back of the neck. Injuring her spinal cord. How would you feel if I did that to somebody for you? How would you learn feel now if I were rusty her daughter and do that to her? The same way she did it to mine. This will never end. This will never end. And I can tell them that. Those six girls that attacked my child... This will never end. All I'm praying for now is for Kaylan to wake up. For her to start making improvement. For her to start moving. I want to hear her side of this story. Because everybody's giving a different side of the story. Kima is saying one thing. Tiffy is saying one thing. Chrissy is saying one thing. Haven't heard anything from Rusty. Yolan is boasting. The girl should have dead. This is the Jamaica we live in. This is the reality we live in. Big woman them. Some big tough grown on grown woman them. Can none of them on a picnic. Kaylan is so small. That she has fight one person. Uh, you choose to jump her and you're a big woman? You choose to jump her and you're a big woman? How you get in a picnic fight? How you get in a little young girl fight? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave and I'm going to the hospital now. It's not an easy road. I'm just asking everybody to pray. The Lord said... He rested on my heart this morning. He said, get the world to pray. He says, his prayer line is diminishing because we no longer believe. And we must pray. I'm asking everybody if you can hear and see this. Just make a short video prayer. 
or a voice prayer, whatever you want to do. And hashtag it Kaylan, prayer for Kaylan. And post it on your Instagram page or your Facebook page. Let us spread prayer and pray for each other. Let's pray for Kaylan that she can wake up. Please, I'm begging. Pray for Kaylan. Just share.